Welcome. Today's practice is going to focus on calming, grounding energy. Start lying down on your back. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Knees are bent. Turn the palms to face up. Shut down the eyes. And with your next few breaths, settle onto the mat. Press into the feet, lift the hips about an inch, and then roll down one vertebrae at a time, flattening the back. You can keep the knees bent or straighten the legs. Allow the feet to splay open. Notice the connection with the earth. Heels or feet, legs, hips, shoulder blades. Notice the coolness of the ground on the back of the hands. The next several exhales, invite your body to become heavy. Bend the knees, soles of the feet come to the mat. Press down into the hands, into the arms. Lift the hips, lift the belly. Tuck the tailbone, roll down slowly. Entire spine meets the mat. Again, inhale, press up, lift the hips. And then tuck the tailbone and lower. Entire length of the spine on the mat. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Massage the low back. And then come back to stillness. Drop the soles of the feet. Bring the arms out to the side in a T shape. Palms face up. Cross the right arm under the left, crisscross, grab opposite palms or shoulders, whatever's available to you. Hug the low belly in to flatten the back, and then begin to lift the elbows, press the forearms away from your face. Opening the back body and the shoulders, but still feeling the entire spine rooted. As you inhale, draw the elbows up. Bring them all the way up and overhead so maybe the fingertips touch behind you on the mat. And as you exhale, draw the elbows toward the belly. Inhale, lift the elbows. Bring the fingertips behind you toward the mat, maybe a tap. Exhale, elbows come to belly one more time. With your breath, inhaling overhead. And then exhale to squeeze it down. Unwind the arms, bring the arms to a T. Right arm crosses under left, crisscross. Maybe grab opposite shoulders, whatever's available. And then again, hug the belly in to flatten the spine. Keep that connection to the mat. Inhale, lift the elbows. Press forearms away as you drop the fingertips behind you. And then exhale, elbows to belly. Two more times with your own breath. 
Maybe getting a little deeper and exploring the range of motion with each pass. And then exhale, bring it all down. Hug the knees into the chest. Start to rock forward and back, massaging the entire length of the spine. Take your time until eventually you come up to a seated position. Feel the sits bones ground down evenly. Hands are comfortably on the thighs. Drop the shoulders, and as you press into the sits bones, feel that little rise through the crown of the head. Maybe the chest lifts, shoulders soften. Inhale, reach the arms around and uplift the gaze. And exhale, draw the hands to heart center. Close the eyes, and I invite you to set an intention for your practice. You can join us in that journey of grounding or any word or words that resonate with you. Take a deep breath in through the nose, hold it at the top. Open the mouth, let it go, sealing your intention for practice. Eyes flutter open and inhale, reach around and up. Exhale, drop over to the right. Press down into that left sits bones. And then start to reach to the left fingertips as you gaze under the left arm. Come up onto the right fingertips so you create space under that right armpit. And then release the hand, reach up and over with the left arm. Inhale, rise. Exhale, take it to the other side, sweep over, press down into the right sits bones, grounding as you lift higher through the fingertips. Come up onto the left fingertips to create a little more space under the arm, release the palm, and then reach up and over. Inhale, rise, and exhale. Bring the hands to heart center. Switch the cross of the legs, awkward foot in front. On the inhale, reach the arms around and up. And on the exhale, fold forward. Keep a flat back here, come to fingertips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, reach through the crown of the head, press the sits bones back. And on the exhale, come down to palms, release the head and neck and round in. Fold it over, honoring yourself. Come to fingertips. Walk the fingertips forward. And then press into the fingertips to sit back a little deeper. You might not, there might not be any movement. Maybe it's just intention. To root down. To find stability evenly through both sides of the body. Release the hands, walk them back toward the hips, rise up. Make your way forward to tabletop position. Shoulders are aligned over wrists and hips are over knees. Lift up onto the right fingertips and then release the palm Spread the fingers wide and ground down into the entire hand, knuckles, fingertips. Lift the left palm, come to left fingertips, and then scroll the hand down, firmly rooted on the mat. You might even feel a little gripping with the fingers. Align your hips over your knees. You might need to shift a little bit. And then on the inhale, release the belly, lift the heart, lift the tailbone for cow. Exhale, round the spine, pull the belly button in, press thighs forward. 
and then warming up with a few rounds of cat-cow at your own pace. Bring the breath with you. After your next full exhale, whenever that is, meet back in neutral tabletop. Walk the hands over to the right, knees stay planted, hips stay square. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest for cow. Exhale, tuck it, taking a little different version of cat and cow. Noticing how the sensation is different across the left side of the body. Release back to neutral, walk the hands forward and take it to the left side. Inhale, release the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, round and tuck. Inhale, drop the belly, heart lifts. Exhale, press into the hands, round the spine. One more. And then release back to neutral, walk the hands back in. Bring the knees to the width of the mat, big toes touch, and drop the hips back toward the heels, forehead to the mat for child's pose. Tailbone drops between the legs. Belly is soft. Breathe your intention in and out through the nose like a mantra. Lift the elbows, walk the hands forward, keep the chest low. Palms press down and then press into the fingers as you set the hips back a little deeper. Allow the shoulders to soften. And inhale, press forward to tabletop position. Wag the hips side to side. Take any intuitive movement that feels good in your body. And then we will come back to neutral tabletop position. On the inhale, right leg lifts, hip height, Maybe drop that right hip a little more to square the hips and option to float the left arm for spinal balance. Find that right hand and root into it. Really press it away. Grip with the fingertips. Reach back with the right heel and forward with the left fingertips. On the exhale, Release the hand, release the knee. Tabletop. Other side, inhale, left leg lifts. Press the left heel away. Belly slightly lifts, tone the core, and maybe reach that right arm forward. Press down into the right shin. Press into the left hand. Using every point of connection for energy and strength. And on the exhale, release the right hand, release the right knee, tabletop position. Walk the hands about a handprint forward, tuck the toes under, hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can also stay in tabletop. Make this practice your own. Child's pose is available any time you need it. Drop the chest toward the thighs. Allow the crown of the head to point down so that the gaze is between the knee is between the knees, or maybe you're looking up toward your belly button. On the inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, draw the knee in. Step the foot between the hands and stay low here. Come to fingertips. Press the left heel back, crown of the head reaches forward. 
and look down at your right big toe. Press down into that right big toe to lift the belly off the, off the right thigh. Bring the right hand inside the right foot on fingertips. Back foot spins down parallel to the back of the mat. Stay low. You can plant the right hand, or if you have a block, bring it to a block. And then inhale, lift the left arm, side angle. Coming into it from a little different place. You can also come up, bring elbow to thigh, if that's more comfortable for you, or keep it low, keep it grounded. And on the inhale, rise all the way up. Press into the feet to lift you. Warrior two. Arms reach in opposite directions. Isometrically draw the feet toward each other for strength in the low body. So the power here is all in our legs. The torso simply floats. Press down into the feet, rooting. And release the back hand. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Gaze comes to fingertips. Exhale, release back, warrior two. Reset. Front elbow to front knee. Reach the top arm over, palm faces down. Extended side angle. Start to spin the heart open. Lay that left shoulder back. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Find your feet. Strengthen the legs. Drop the back hand, flip the front palm, reverse. And then with your own breath, come back, side angle. Little dance flowing back and forth. Pausing in warrior two between each movement. Legs stay steady. And then flow back to your warrior two. Meet here. On the exhale, frame the front foot. Step back to a high plank, top of a push-up. Isometrically draw the hands toward the feet. That will engage the core. You can also drop to knees, press the heels away. We'll all drop to knees, shift forward, lift the toes and hug the elbows in. Lower to the mat, chaturanga, release the feet. Bring the arms out to, a, to the side in a T-shape. Press into the fingertips. Zip up the legs. And then walk the hands a few inches forward so you're like in a, your hand, arms are in a wide triangle. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the chest. Press into the hip points. Press into the tops of the feet, any connection and then lower back down. Bring hands under shoulders. Press up to tabletop. Tuck toes. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Hold it. And then sigh it out. Open the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, draw the knee in, step the foot between the hands, low runner's lunge. Stay here. Left knee is tracking over ankle. Look down at that big toe and press down to lift the belly. Right heel presses away, crown of the head reaches forward. Left hand comes inside the left foot. Back foot spins down parallel to the back of the mat. Stay low, press into the outer edge of the right foot as you inhale, lift the right arm for side angle. 
Isometrically draw the feet toward each other. And then inhale, press up into the feet, rise, warrior two. Drop the back hand, flip the front palm, reverse gaze comes up. Exhale, release back, warrior two. Inhale, drop the front elbow, top arm reaches over, side angle. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. And then reverse, flowing back and forth. This little dance, settling in the middle in warrior two, in between. Make it your own. You can pause in any place. But notice that grounding strength in your legs that allows the body to simply float above. And then on the next exhale, return to your warrior two and pause. Frame the front foot, step back to a high plank, option to drop to knees, hold here. Drop to knees, Shift forward, lift the toes and hug elbows into your sides. Keep the chest lifted as you lower all the way to the mat. On the inhale, lift the chest, baby cobra. Press into the tops of the feet. Press into the hips, squeeze the elbows together. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up to hands and knees. Knees come wide, big toes touch. Drop the hips, hips to heels and release child's pose. Feel that point where the forehead meets the mat, grounding you, settling you. Steady the breath. Inhale forward to tabletop. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto tippy toes and tiptoe. Hips high to the front of the mat. Bend the knees as you arrive. Forward fold. On the inhale, hands to shins, lift halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root into the feet, reach around and up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Pause here, close the eyes. Look down and check that your feet are hip width distance and the outer edges of the feet are parallel to the edges of the mat. For most of us, that means turning the heels slightly out. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Chair pose, heart is lifted. This pose has some symbolism because as we're pressed down, we also inhale, we rise the arms, reaching and expanding. Lift the gaze. And with it, the sternum lifts, the intention lifts. And then exhale, fold forward, release. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Lift the chest, lift the arms. Chair pose. So there's this rooting and rising action at the same time. Strength coming from the energy that flows from the earth up through our feet and our legs. Heart lifts, maybe the gaze comes up. And then exhale, fold forward, let it go. With your peace fingers, wrap them around the big toes, bend the knees deeply. Elbows come out to the sides, crown of the head drops. You might start to straighten the legs, bring weight forward to lift the hips.
and then release the toe lock, come to fingertips. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Shoulders draw back, belly button to spine. Exhale, fold forward. On the inhale, root into the feet, reach around and up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Release the palms, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Again, check that your feet are hip width distance. And rock side to side. Rock forward and back. Moving around to find the center point of your body. And then once you've found that center, come to stillness. Lift the right toes. Just the toes, keep the ball of the foot, foot rooted. And then release the toes from the pinky edge inward to the big toe. Other side, lift the left toes so the other points of your foot are firmly rooted. And then slowly release pinky edge inward. Finding stability in the feet. So first we root down, then we rise. Weight into the left foot. Turn the right knee out and park the heel onto the shin. Hands to heart center for tree pose. Gaze comes down to the floor and find a point that's not moving. Your drishti. And that will help you hold your balance. Stay here or Start to lift that foot to the shin or maybe reach down, bring it to the inner thigh. You can hold a wall or a chair. Keep pressing down into that standing leg for strength and balance as you float the arms, maybe lift the gaze. The rooting allows us to rise. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, lift the knee in front of you. Straighten the leg, bend it, and then release. Shake it out. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Crown of the head is aligned over the hips. Shoulders draw down, chin is parallel to the horizon, and then connect with your feet, that energy coming in through the earth, rising up, lifting you a little higher. Weight comes into the right foot, turn the left knee open and park the heel. Hands to heart center, lift the chest a little higher, and then maybe Play with your balance by lifting the foot. And then connect with that standing leg. For strength. Hands to heart center as you inhale, lift the left knee. Straighten the leg. Bend it and then slowly and gracefully release it to the mat as you shake it out. And we'll meet in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale with a flat back, fold forward. Inhale, lift the hands to shins, halfway lift, tailbone lifts, crown of the head reaches forward and exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, step back to a high plank, top of a push-up. Release to knees, shift forward, lift the toes. Hug the elbows in and lower chaturanga. Release the feet. Inhale, lift the chest, baby cobra, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower. 
Inhale, press up to tabletop and make your way to a seat. Legs in front of you. Press down into the heels, press into the legs. And with that pressing down, firming the legs, connecting with the mat, notice the little rise in the torso. Hands by your sides, press down into the palms. Melt the shoulders down and create a little space between the ears and tops of the shoulders. On the inhale, lift the arms up. And on the exhale, with a flat back, fold forward. Inhale, come to fingertips, lengthen halfway. And on the exhale, crawl the fingertips a little further forward. Keep the flat back. Walk the hands back towards your body, rise up. Soles of the feet together. Feet can be close to your body or further away in a diamond shape. Inhale, lift up nice and straight. And on the exhale, come forward, walk the fingertips forward, flat back. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen. And on the exhale, crawl a little further forward. And from here, round the head and neck, soften. Deep breaths, steady the breath in and out through the nose. Inhale. Walk the hands back towards you as you rise up. Grab the outsides of the legs. Bring the knees together. And then from here, slowly roll onto your back, vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms by your sides. Walk the feet close to the body so you can graze the heels with your fingertips. Tuck the shoulder blades gently under your back. Inhale, press into the feet, lift the hips a few inches, tuck the pelvis and roll down, flatten the spine. And then notice, notice the entire length of the spine connected with your mat, rooting into the earth, heavy. Walk the soles of the feet to the width of the mat. Knock the knees together, release the low back. If it feels good in your body, wag the knees side to side. And then come back knees knocked together. Walk the soles of the feet under the knees. Hug the knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze. Rock side to side. Take some circles with the knees. Massaging the sacrum. Outlining the entire bony plate at the base of your spine. Reverse. Roll over onto either side, fetal position, and press up to a comfortable seat. We are going to end the practice today with a breathing exercise, alternate nostril breathing to slow the breath, calm the mind. So find a comfortable seat. You might want to sit against a wall or up on a cushion. Get comfortable before we start. Bring your right hand in front of your face, palm faces you. With the thumb, 
gently hold down the pointer finger and middle finger, leaving the ring finger and pinky lifted. The pinky finger and the ring finger are gently placed over the left nostril, and then the tip of the thumb that's exposed is gently placed over the right nostril. With the pinky finger and ring fingers, close the left nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Hold it at the top, and you can shut down the eyes. Close the right nostril with the thumb. Open the left. Exhale, left nostril. Inhale, left side. Pause at the top. Close with the ring finger and pinky as you open the right and exhale. Inhale, right. Pause for a beat. Close right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Pause, close. Exhale, right. Keep moving side to side, allowing a beat at the top of each breath. After your next exhale through the right nostril, release the right hand. Come back to your normal breath. And notice. Notice any changes in the breath, the body, the mind. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.